Airbus is Europe's dominant power when it comes to aircraft manufacturing. The company is a direct rival to United States' Boeing, and the two firms have been going head-to-head -head over the decades. However, Airbus has recently been ramping up its production on US soil. What spurred on this decision? Airbus has two engineering centers in the United States. The first one opened in Wichita, Kansas in June 2002. The site specializes in airframe design and analysis. Subsequently, the company has a site in Mobile, Alabama, which opened in September 2015 and focuses on cabin and cargo systems across the product line. When the Wichita branch was opened, the former chairman of Airbus Americas was clear about why this area was chosen. He said it's all about location, saying that this is where the expertise is found. The company emphasized that there's an excellent pool of talent in the region and it's easy to attract engineers. The success in Kansas gave Airbus the confidence to build a large-scale site in the US. Subsequently, the Mobile site was initially launched to assemble the A319s, A320s and A321s. When the $600 million site was completed, former Airbus president and CEO Fabrice Brégier spoke about the development in a press release, saying that the move signifies that Airbus has become the first truly global aircraft manufacturer and now also a truly American outfit. He also said that with the addition of this US facility to its production network in Europe and Asia, it has strategically expanded its global industrial base. Ultimately, it was part of the company's tactics to gain a better presence across the globe. The Airbus US manufacturing facility is an important step forward in Airbus's strategy, strengthening our position as a leader and competitor in all of our key markets. It enables us to grow our already significant presence in America, the largest single-aisle aircraft market in the world, and to be closer to our US customers and key supplier partners," Brezhia said. At the same time, the expanded industrial capacity gives us more flexibility to increase production across Airbus to meet global demand. The building of the Mobile site proved to be a useful move for the firm. Only seven months later, the first aircraft produced there was delivered. JetBlue received the first A321 manufactured in Alabama in April 2016. Ultimately, these US developments are a natural progression for any global company such as Airbus. With several customers already in the country, the firm felt it was more efficient to produce locally. Last year, the White House announced that it would be increasing tariffs on aircraft imported from the EU from 10% to 15%. Therefore, there's been even greater incentive to keep production within U.S. borders, avoiding certain tariffs and keeping aircraft prices lower for U.S. customers. The U.S. facilities create global growth opportunities across the business and throughout its supply chain. This was a smart move on a marketing level as it now has a better chance at winning commercial, cargo and military contracts in the country. What do you think of Airbus's manufacturing presence in the United States? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.